other thing being held up tonight in the city is the city's tiny house village for veterans. The culprit here is the supply chain issues and other delays. As News 4's Alexis Zotos reports, good news though on the horizon for a community greatly in need of help. Uh, these houses are uh, they're wrapped in love. Love and support is in the walls. Messages from volunteers to the future veterans calling these tiny houses home. This is one of our family units and in this this can sleep comfortably up to five. And so the kitchen area will be located over here. We've got a full size bathroom. The Veterans Community Project is located at Grand and Cass in North St. Louis. Originally, the hope was to get some veterans housed this winter. But like everyone, the supply chain shortage continues impacting work. We were rolling along really well until we weren't, and uh, the supply chain bug finally hit us. Their outreach center is almost complete, ready to welcome veterans for services. We're still waiting on one major component that's on its third ship date. But one thing not lacking is the volunteer effort, working in all weather conditions to get the first 20 houses framed and roofs on. It's been a really heartwarming story, to be honest, about the level of commitment that community members have had about our mission. The new goal is to have veterans moving in by April, but that doesn't stop the calls from already coming in. Even though we're not there yet, we are connecting those folks with existing service providers, knowing that uh, we're right around the corner. Over here is phase two. You can see the foundations have been laid, but these homes will come just a little bit farther down the road. In the end, there's going to be 50 houses in this veterans village, but reality is that just scratches the surface of the need in our region. Right around 1200 veterans are known to be uh, you know, homeless or unhoused currently between Missouri and Illinois. But they know the number is likely much higher. This is a sample house of what it will look like completed, funded mostly through private donations. When a veteran moves on to permanent housing, they get to take everything with them. Just one more way to help a veteran move on to the next chapter of their life. In North St. Louis, Alexis Sotos, News 4. It is such a unique and a very important project. Absolutely. We do know this, though. The Veterans Community Project can't help in veteran homelessness alone. Yeah, they're in need of additional volunteers as they push toward their opening date. You can find out how to help by visiting the KMOV News app. And when we